For me, architecture is very exciting. Every project has an opportunity to be unique and be expressive about the culture of the place and about uh, what's happening inside the building. I had followed the pavilion projects over the years and thought that they were really interesting, exciting opportunities in architecture. Uh, you see all sorts of new ideas opened up to the world. Today we're looking at an expo that is related to mobility, movement, travel, to sustainability, to things that are very important to us in the world today. We have designed this building to be circular in form, and if you, as you look at the photographs of the renderings, uh, it has uh, some slants to the elevations that sort of sense movement and make you feel that the building is maybe moving. So it's an expression of movement. And then once you enter the building and you go inside, it opens up to this whole world of things that we're studying in the United States and we're developing ideas that will move us in the future. Designing this building is a real big responsibility. We're going to have maybe 25 million people viewing this building in a six-month period, which is more than we might have visiting uh, the mall in Washington, D.C. in a similar period of time. And so uh, it's, it's a great responsibility as we are showcasing America and American ideas and American research. This project, I think, is important in a generational standpoint. There are several young people in our office working on this project. Uh, one of those is my son, which is, uh, gives me a great pleasure to see him working on something that will be repeated many times in the future as the uh, expos continue on. I hope that this building will be a lasting memory for people in the future of what the United States stands for. Open, accessible uh, place to live and come, create ideas. Uh, it's all the things that we're doing in the United States, developing technology, developing ideas that are going to move us forward in the future.